This dude's okay. talking me up. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, all right. So Adi in Tangahan, this is his favorite place here in Medan. So uh, I decided to come give it a try. Some nasi padang is I, I think is what we're looking at. Look at all these pots of different curry. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, we got some empty plates up here though. Maybe some rendang, curry. That looks interesting. Okay. Okay. Buka. 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 Apa itu? Saya mau makan nasi padang. Pakai apa? Ada usus. Ada dendeng. Okay. Ada daging lemak. Ada kikil tunjang. Ada ikan gule, rendang. Let's do uh, ayam, ada? Ayam, ayam gule juga. Okay. Ayam gule. Okay. Uh. Ini apa? Ini daging lemak, gajah boh namanya. Daging campur lemak. Okay, okay. Yeah, Ini khusus, isinya telur. Okay. Yeah. Ini dendeng. I don't really know any of those. All I know is ayam. So, ayam? Ayam. Ayam. Okay. Makan sini? Makan di sini. Okay. Ah. It's a noisy place. Medan is a busy, busy town. I'll tell you what. Hello. One goreng and one. Alright. So vegetables with some jackfruit, not artichokes. Okay. Okay. All right. Look at that. How good does that look? Check this out. I have a little stand right here. I can put that up like that. Maybe you can have a better view of me. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so we got some chicken, we got some jackfruit, not artichokes. Some kind of green beans or green peas. I think this is like the, the random. Yeah. Yeah, you can taste the coconut milk in that. And then the white rice with the sauce covered all over it. I'm gonna give you these, but I don't think you have to eat these. I think if you, if you try one, they'll charge you for it obviously, but if you don't want them, then they won't charge you. So they just drop them on your table just for, I don't know, if you want. I don't need that. And I got the uh, te boto, which is uh, kind of a sweet tea here in Indonesia. But let's dig in. Let's dig in. Let's start off with the jackfruit. Kind of has the same texture as the artichoke. Nasi padang. Nasi champur is good, but I like nasi padang a lot more. Nice tender chicken. Anything that's covered in curry sauce like this, yeah, it's gonna be good. That is awesome. Ooh, look at all that white meat. That is perfect. Damn. Mm. So juicy. Mm. That's good. Man. Luckily, it's not too spicy. Which I'm sure they have sambal, I'm sure they have chilies, and you can make it more spicy, but. Perfect for me. Oh, yeah. mm, this is good. Adi, you were right, man. Friggin' delicious. There's really not much else to show you. We tried everything. From here, we're gonna walk down the street and we're gonna check out 
an Indonesian hero's war cemetery. So we drove by it on the way here. Every time I hear like a crack, it always freaks me out because I feel like I've chipped a tooth or something. But no, I think it was just something in food. So I needed to use the restroom and they pointed me to the back of the house and so I kind of get, get, get a sneak peek of uh, their, their kitchen and their operation back here. But one thing you notice, it was super clean back here. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven burners. And yeah, this is where the Padang magic happens. Terima kasih. Berapa? Berapa harganya? Terima kasih. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that was thirty-five thousand rupiah, including a drink. So I think it would have been only twenty-five thousand without the tea. So twenty-five thousand is less than two dollars. Not bad. Hello. Ooh, yeah. I guess we can get some dessert too. Let's get the famous Es Champur. I might, I might like Nasi Padang more than Nasi Champur, but I do like the Ice Champur. We have Ice Koteng, Chindal. Ooh, maybe I'll get the Chindal. Maybe Chindal. Yeah. Chindal Satir. That's one thing I love in Malaysia too, is the chindal. I can't get enough of that. But yeah, the, uh, the cemetery is right over there. And we'll head, we'll head over there right after I get my dessert. Yeah, I think the first time I had chindal was in Bandung about a year ago. And I had no idea what I was eating, but since then, I became a uh, Chindal pro. I actually haven't had it in Indonesia yet, but when I'm in Malaysia, when I'm in Johor, I love it. Oh, thank you. Done up a little differently. This place doesn't even crush up the ice, but that's okay. Yeah, usually it's kind of like a, a shaved ice dessert, but this one has chunks of ice cubes in there. So sweet. Wow. And there's not too many of these green guys in there either. And no, I don't see any, uh, any of the sweet red beans either. Nope. Chindal, but very different. When you drink it, it's kind of like bubble tea. Check out this guy's setup. Right over there. There's a bonfire right in the middle of the city. Yeah, that can be good. This one's pretty nice. Doesn't look like we're going to get to go in though because it is locked. But yeah, just like Binjai's Indonesian Heroes Cemetery, they have the crosses on the right, which I guess indicate the Christians who fought for the independence of Indonesia and then you have the, the tombstones over here which I'm guessing are the Muslims and so but they, all, they both fought for the same purpose and that is independence here in Indonesia over here you have a couple murals this one depicting Sukarno reading the uh, proclamation of independence August 17th, 19th 
45. He was actually pretty hesitant to declare independence. He didn't want to uh, agitate the Japanese who were still there or who had just uh, recently surrendered two days prior. And over here, it looks like you have a battle going on. You have a baby crying in, in his mama's arms right here. You have a tank rolling through. You have people fighting with swords and guns. And I mean, this one looks like he's getting choked or something. But yeah, I plan on going to the Monas in Jakarta. I plan on finally going inside the grounds. I've been there twice and it's been closed. So heading, Jakarta, heading to Jakarta tonight. And in the next few days, I'll make my way to Monas and we'll talk more about the history of Indonesia and you know the struggle that they went through. And I'll save that for another video. But, Alrighty, check this out. Looks like we found the North Sumatran Museum. Is that right? Yeah, so I was just walking down the street from the cemetery from that direction. I see this huge, massive building that's, you know, painted like this, super detailed, colorful. And figured, okay, let's go check that out. You got another big mural over here. This one looks like it's depicting a time period way before Indonesia became Indonesia. Yeah. Let's go inside and check it out. I guess it's free. There's no entrance, there's no like ticket booth or anything. This state museum of North Sumatra province was inaugurated on April 19, 1982. This is a pretty depressing fact. It says the elephant. During the span of 55 million years, there were 500 species of elephants on earth. Currently, there are only two, the African elephant and the Asian elephant. Wow. Alrighty, and so these are some of the creatures that maybe you could find out there in Tankahan and Bukilawang, like way out in the in the jungle, in the rainforest. You have the Sumatran tiger, you have the hornbill, the bird. So actually, we saw this in uh, Bukilawang. You have some snakes, you have the honey bear, you have some komodos. We I did see a few lizards, but. Luckily, not near as big as the lizards I think you can find on Komodo Island, which people keep telling me to go there, but I don't really have the itch to go there, to be honest. Looks like just a big open courtyard out here. Some ladies are doing their uh, TikToking. Come to the museum, do your TikToks. It's better than doing it at the Tsunami Museum. I mean, it's a pretty extensive museum, I would say. It's, it's pretty big, and it has all this stuff in here, talking about all kinds of different things. From the pottery to the games, their way of life. I mean, and it's kind of crazy. There is not a soul in here. There's no staff. I mean, you have these chairs over here. I haven't seen anybody yet. I mean... Am I even supposed to be in here? <laughs> 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 
It's one of those places, though, you can spend all day in if you wanted to read all the information on each one of the different displays. But I don't, re I don't really have time for that. So let's uh, let's get back on outside, do a little more walking, and then eventually I'm going to call it GoJet to take me back to the guest house. And when you see a narrow alley like this, a narrow entranceway into a compound, well, you only have one choice but to go investigate and check it out. The last time I did a little bit of kampung, jalan jalan here in Medan, when it was all said and done and I posted the video, everybody was like, you are just in one of the most dangerous places in Medan. I didn't feel like it. Everyone was nice and friendly and and uh, treated me kindly and they were, you know, they actually walked with me and showed me around their kampung. Hello, Mr. Hey, hello. See? Everyone greets you. Hello, mister. Hello. 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 Bella Jar. Hello. Bella Jar. They're doing some studying. Okay. Maybe we can go this way. Hello. 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 That place. A lot of these places mean business. Stay out of their yard. They got the barbed wire up and everything. Look at that. Do not cross into their yard. Hmm. These are the kind of neighborhoods I like. Real tight, real narrow, kind of like a maze. Where is it going to shoot me out? Okay. I love it. Just hang your clothes wherever you can. No need for a wire, just hang it on the fence. Don't have a fence, hang it on a bush. We have the uh, the Kampung guard dog up here. Let's see if he's friendly. He looks a little old. Oh, poor thing. Oh my goodness, he is. Oh, seen better days. Hey, buddy. Hey. Holding on to dear life there. Hello. Hello. All right, so I figured it's best to go ahead and come back, pack my things up, and uh, get ready to go to the airport because, well, I don't want time to slip away from me. And so, yeah, I'm staying at the Bua Guest House, number one. I'm sure some of you guys will recognize this place because I've been here before. And uh, yeah, if you want to see that video, I will leave a link to that. But yeah, so the place I was staying out in Tankahan, the same owner owns this one and the one out there. They're both called Bua Guest House. Uh, this one is obviously closer to Medan. I love it because, well, if you want to come to Medan and yeah, it's great to stay in the middle of the city and stay somewhere more centrally located, but it's just busy and loud and congested. And so this place is perfect because it's only about 25 minutes from the center of Medan, easy access to the airport, and it's a beautiful place. It's quiet. I mean, you don't have the noise from all the motorbikes going, you know, in front of the place. And so, yeah, I recommend staying here. And like I said, they're the owners of the one, uh, they're the owners of the guest house in Tankahan too. So, so they can coordinate something if you want to go out there and stay by Tankahan. Or you can just go out to Tankahan if you like. But I think a lot of people come here first and then they realize, oh, you have another guest house. But anyways, 
that's going to be it for uh, my short and sweet Medan video. From here, I want to pack up, like I said, and get out of here. And we're going to go to Jakarta, and we're going to tackle that city again. Whew. From one jungle to the next. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. And uh, we got these big old bees here, but they're not dangerous. They don't sting you, but they look like beetles almost. But they love these honeysuckle. And man, do they smell good. Oh, just, I love it here. You should definitely stay here. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to Jakarta and renewing my, uh, renewing my visa. Going to go to immigration. Hopefully that's not, you know, crazy. Hopefully I get that done, taken care of pretty quickly. And then from there, we're going to continue going east. And I'll end up somewhere in East Java. I'm sure you know where I'm going. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for uh, joining me on this quick video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.